Hello there everybody, welcome back, and today we are going to be playing some Okami. It's not necessarily a new game, as one can ever tell, who has ever owned a PlayStation 2. This game has been around for a while now, and stop that. Um, <laughs> and it's a game that I've been wanting to play for such a long time, and I never had the chance, but, you know, in time with all things. Odani? Uh, I didn't quite catch that. So... Gonna start me a new game. I've always liked the look and feel of this game. Kind of reminded me of one of those, well, as this brush pretty much dictates. Uh, that it kind of like mimics the uh, painted scroll styles of Japanese traditional art. Uh, kind of like Sumi-e. Uh, or Sumi-e, however you pronounce that. Alright. Get some exposition. A timely hamlet known as Kamigi lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet berg was honored as a god. Huh. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. Ooh. Secrets. Ooh, well, those don't look friendly. Orochi? Oh, yeah. I forgot this thing, like, plays in heavily with uh, Japanese mythology and, like, origins and whatnot. I love the myth, um, but I don't quite know who this guy is, but I've seen his name in other uh, anime. <laughs> A young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. Of course, she was. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. I thought they were talking about the girl for a second. Um, <laughs> I was like, oh, she's ugly. Sacrifice her ass. All right, so when the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiranui. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. Interesting. Ah, weird noise that the narrator makes. People assume the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. Oh, you assumed. Alright, so... We move on. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranui. The big-ass sword. The warrior, Nagi, attempted many times to challenge the wolf. But his attempts were thwarted by Shiranui's swift movements. Hmm. So it's like, why? It's like, just for something to do? <laughs> oh. Before long, the night of the cursed festival had arrived. A white plume heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely. Boom. Uh, the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. Alright, so... Protecting the woman he loves... The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel, the blade left nary a scratch. This is quite the intro. I was told it was a long game, but uh, 
about to find out for myself. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shiranui, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Now don't you feel stupid. All right. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shiranui leapt toward Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. This is beautiful music, by the way. Huh. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shiranui summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. Oh, cool. Brush mechanic. Whoosh. As Orochi closed in on Shiranui, sharpened claws glistening. Oh shit, tree. A gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shiranui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystic power, mystical power, was not easily bested. Shiranui covered in the gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Yeah, brave little doggy. Well, probably not little, but... Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow, but Shiranui refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed in heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Just wondering where this is going. This is quite interesting. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary. Channeling all his strength into his scarred and battered arms, he leapt ferociously toward Orochi, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads se separated from their owner. Oh, shit. Whoa. They weren't hats. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instance, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shirinoid had succumbed to Orochi poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamiki. Aw, poor doggy. When they reached the village, Shiranui's was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shiranui let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off as if it knew a slumber. Aw. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki village. In honor of Shiranui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Mm. Nagi's sword was christened Sukiyomi and placed inside the moon cave. Now there's another word I've heard in animes. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. Ooh, color and atmosphere. There is more to this tale than most people know. 100 years have passed since Nagi and Shiranui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Oh yeah? What happened? Oh, I love the look of this, man. Ooh. Oh shit. Is this the legendary sword? What is this, Black Panther? 
coming to take on Captain America and Bucky. All right, is this the Sukiyomi, the sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? Question mark, man. Ha ha ha. I wonder if he's an Oni or some shit. No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. Ha ha. Why do a lot of good legends and myths start off with swords? Oh, you fucked up. I kind of look kind of cowardly. Run, bitch! You've awakened the darkness. Whoa. Oh, he who seeks power. He who has broken my bonds. Speak the words. Really? <laughs> yeah, just please. Just, there'll be ice cream for you and cookies. I wish darkness into the world. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's like, what did he get out of it? Obviously, this is going to end well for this guy. Run, you fool. You fucked up now. Boom. I mean, I like those hats it wears. Rawr. Yeah, I'd be pissed too, being trapped underground for hundreds of years. Or a century. at the end of the intro? No. A horrible tra tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. Gee, let me guess. The tiny settlement of Kamiki village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Can't touch this. Mm, 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 mm. Whoa. What in the hell? Wood Sprite, Sakuya. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. So, someone knew and took no measures against it. Oh well. <laughs> Isn't that how it always goes? What has transpired to bring about such a calamity? Woman! You knew the prophecy! In we must act quickly! There is no time to lose! My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Alright. I'm Adoratsu. Now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Ooh, that's a cool looking swirl. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Mm, okay. All right. Ooh. And with that, I get the mystic Amaterasu. It's like fire? Okami Amar Amaterasu. Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is Amaratsu. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demons so many years ago has not changed one bit. There's a lot of talking in this game. <laughs> Uh, seeing you emerge after so many years has spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Heart. Sniff. Uh. Oh, wow. Aww. <laughs> What's wrong? Amaterasu. Amaterasu. I keep saying it wrong. Gaze above in you and take in the condition of the sky. It's cloudy with a chance of evil! Since your untimely departure from our midst... 
The world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. Nippon. Where have I heard that before? But never had the circumstances been worse. Is that like a province in Japan? Then they have, then they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to vanquish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? Eh? What is this? Has something stolen its way into my rope? Well, uh, where's this going? Ho ho ho! Oh hee hee! What? Oh, um, what? What? Booby beetles? Well, yeah, really? What is you again? Huh. Oh my god, what? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Are you napping in my clothes again, Bug? Bug? I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isun. Wandering artist Isun. Oh my god, what? What's this Japanese and their tiny sprite people? I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. Oh, so yours. Uh. Uh. This is a nice depiction. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? <laughs> What's with you, Furball? You look kinda down in the dumps. Actually, you look kinda familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of Shiranui. Oh. Whoa, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slover. You'll regret n messing with the great E soon. I've yet to play anything. Don't make me use my prize sword. Denkomaru against you. Oh. Trippy. W -w What's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh great god, Amaterasu. I've used all my power and I have to protect Kamiki village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut a tree, and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will be will lead us down the right path. Whoa, that's a big tree. Only your awesome power can restore light to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakio girl sure said some weird stuff. The villagers' spirits are being lifted inside the fruit, or being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. That girl said that if you cut it down, the village will be restored. Every There's people in that fruit. There's people in that fruit. What the hell's going on here? But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me, too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Oh my god. Can I play? Oh good, I can play. Yay. Alright, let's see. So, okay, so I gotta use the analog stick. Can I jump? Wow. Double jump? Wait, what? Examine. Wait, oh, what, what? Okay, so maybe I jump up here. Alright, and then jump up here. Uh, okay, I can't. What, what am I doing? Where am I going? What, what, what in here? Oh, okay. I, uh... You asking me? <laughs> it got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this since the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. 
You can use the right analog stick to look around. The L1 button changes your point of view. Alright. <laughs> Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? Nope. Changes my point of view? Oh, okay. It's like first person doggy view. Alright, so... Alright, let... What the hell? Even left and right's inverted? I gotta fix that. Anyway. Um, Alright, so what am I doing? So that's the portal in here. Oh, I can jump pretty high. Alright. So, let's go over here. Hold on! That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror. Okay, so save point. Well, to put it shortly, you can see. Yeah, see. Yeah, I, I get it. Make sure you do your pro Oh, okay. I can hold this down. Okay, good. I can. Oh, yeah. And let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way, you could always go back if you get stuck on something. Got to prepare, especially if you're still learning the ropes. Well, now. Oops, wrong button. What am I doing? Yes. Yeah, I know, it's been a while. Do be do be do be do be do do do. Saving data, thank y'all. Can I exit? Yeah, alright. Oh, so. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh this camera sucks. Alright. <laughs> oh man, I need to adjust the sensitivity on that. Alright, what am I doing here now? It's pot breaking time. Legend of Zelda time. It's gonna be rupees inside. Yeah. Press the square button to bust him with your head. Because that's the best part of you. Arr. Oh, I have to grab him? Ain't that a bitch? Alright. Grab the coins. Alright, cool, cool. Uh. Oh, come on. Break. Break. Okay, moving on. Oh, God. I, I really need to change that. I really... Where are we going? Whoa, 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 hold on there, Furball. Get a load of that. That chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Getting up that high ought to be a piece of cake. Press the X button to jump. Then press the X button again to do a wall jump. But make sure you press it firmly so you jump really high. So I got slight jump and then slight. Okay. Oh, cool. All right, jump. Jump. Nah. They say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eye peeled and don't want any... What? Oh, or whatever. Alright, treasure time. How do I... I want to open it. Open it. Uh... What, do I bang my head against it? Oh, what is that? Holy bone! Holy bone! Oh, that's your favorite snack. Three units of solar energy. Of course I'm solar based. Alright. Oh, broke your horse. Alright. So, where am I going? Oh, what now? Oh. Yep. This should be so hard. I'm a uh, Tarasu. Mind if I call you Amy? This is Amy. You ever heard of the spirits? Oh boy. So it's time I get to use the brush. Okay, so let's see here. Boop 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 Uh oh, okay. Nice, huh? Just a little technique I called mass I've mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of my many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I practice really hard just to master this technique. But there are thirteen, each one is a power of one of the thirteen brush gods. Oh, son of a... All thirteen were singly powerful deadly. When the deity died, its power was split into three separate gods, and I have to go... Grab them all! Yay! How could anyone have all the... 
have the power to master all 13? Well, I'll show you. Okay, so now I have to get across and find out the next... Boom! Now what? River of the Heavens. And they may Stardust River. Uh, I'm talking about the Milky Way. Uh, but I sure don't see anything like that around here. It couldn't have been that puddle over there, could it? Sure, why not? Boink. Give me my shinies. Uh. Alright, alright. I'll go that way first. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Oh, Jesus. I regret. Alright, so what do I do here? So what, do I swim? Okay... Ah, go and get out of the water. Can't go that way yet. Uh... Yeah, 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 I'm gonna go up here. What's up here? Well, look at the stars twinkle. Is this a puzzle? Hey look, are those stars forming a pattern? Or is it just me? Dragon. Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. How convenient. Uh... What? what? Ah! Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press the right button to hold the brush and the... Okay. Oh, hold up, dude. Jesus. Alright. Alright, uh, wait, 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 whoa. Oh god, this sucks. Alright. <sighs> what? What am I doing? Am I just... Am I just supposed to, like, dab it? Oh! I mean, I thought I had to draw an actual star. <laughs> I'm like... Uh, whoa. Nice. Dragon scroll. Yomigami? Why, if this isn't Mother Amaterasu. I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomigami, God of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you were away, the 13 spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across this land of men and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your powder is just what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Are you ready? Oh ho! You now are my symbol, for you are a student of my dojo. Yeah, I, I got that. Yeah. What would it mean if you're as good as a brush? Nah, it couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Yeah, watch me. Oh, hello. Give me the cash. I'm not sure where that's going to come in handy, but I'm... Um, probably find out at a store. Oh, these come back? Oh god, what now? No! Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, watch me. All right, all right. Yeah. Ow. All right. Man, I am totally digging this, like, art style. It kind of reminds me of um, Wind Waker. Uh, back when I played that on the... It was a GameCube, right? Um, oh, man, that game was a lot of fun. And this whole cell-shaded look, but uh, to mimic, like, uh, Japanese folk art is just 
it's just beautiful and I've always wanted to play it. And it's kind of one of the earliest games that I've kind of considered like a video game as an art form. And not to say that any other games aren't really art. I mean, writing and other visual techniques and the science of the art to make levels. I appreciate all that, but more so of like uh, traditional painting uh, emulating that. All right, so let me see if I can... Oh, right, rush time. So let's see. Um, so I draw... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What did I do? Nice! All right. Told you I could do it. You're not paying attention, buddy. Splish! Swimming across the sparkly water. Do 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 do. All right, got to get somewhere nice. All right. Oh, got to get more pots of fun. Pots of fun. Pots of fun. Pots of. Oh! Whoa! 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 You can. You just gonna ignore that treasure chest? I wasn't ignoring it, you little shit! I was trying to get the pots! Oh, God. Look, buddy. You gotta quit worrying about stuff, man. Uh. Oh, I can jump on it. I obtained... Astral Pouch! Look what you found, football! This Astral Pouch here is amazing. It can swallow up lots of food. Then when it's full, it can revive its owner if he or she dies. Yeah, that sounds handy. Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. Oh, okay. That's why it didn't want me to go toward those pots. It's probably food inside of them. Is there anything over here? Oh, no. What fantastic. Oh. I have to get used to that inverted turn shit. An orange. Okay. Orange with sharp citrus taste. Feels at your mouth. Just a little bit. Ow, my brains. Oh. Consumed peach. Juicy and fragrant. Just a little bit. Apple. Nectar filled sour apple. With hearts and stars and fruity clovers. Alright, let's let's get this in. Let's get this go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Give me my end. Thank you. And in we go. Woo! Nice. What is next? All right, is this tutorial land over with? Can I adjust my options, by the way? Oh, hello. What have we got here? Oh, okay, let's see. Oh, there's a map. Oh, hello. Uh, oh. What? Oh, okay, cool, cool. Tools, equipment. Where's... Uh. Where is my... Let's go back. Alright, um... That's better. Ah, that's what I wanted. Okay, cool. Oh, boy. I wonder if there'll be a dash button. Okay, I'm sparkly. What's that? Hello, little horsey! Oh, Give me your shinies. Do I have to go through the arch? Oh, why not? Okay, so up the path of beauty we go. Shooby doo, be doo, be doo, be doo. Oh, I'm getting faster somehow. Faster, fa oh, what does this say? Can I examine it? Fountain of Nagi. Nagi? What's his name doing here? Stand by now. Let's go! What's over here? Oh, secrets. Not so secret secrets. Anything else? Nope, okay. Gotta keep on the lookout for coins and stuff. Oh, see? Oh, man. Man, this game, I consumed a dumpling. Oh, doughy balls made from grain. Just a little bit. All right. I'm getting my snack on. Because I'm pretty sure this stuff's going to come in handy later. Let's grab all the things in this area. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Thank you. 
Boop. 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 Ah. Oh. Boop. What, what was that? What was that? What was that? I got five of them, whatever they are. Anything else? Nothing else? By this rock. Nothing by this rock. We're good. Alright, moving on. Okay, up and up and up we go. Oh boy. Man. And speaking of art filled games, um or at least like not just beyond uh a visual you know, beyond a visual sense. Well one of the things as I was thinking about was um just gonna go into a cutscene. Is this is this a legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi. Yeah, that's him and his sword. Enshrined here. He vanquished evil hundred years ago. What the hell? Yes, we've all been through the story. First river of the heavens and now this place. Where the heck are we, Furball? Quit complaining. Boy, this place is a wreck. See that sword's in really bad shape. The guys sure didn't do much to protect this place. Alright. So anyways, I was saying. Um... Is that, I don't know if you've seen it, uh, the game uh, Markiplier recently played, uh, and, I'm, and other YouTubers I'm pretty sure have as well, but, uh, no, no, not Markiplier, Jesus. It was, uh, yes, it does, okay, I'm gonna get to it, I'm trying to talk to my friends here. I mean, uh, yes, yes, I'm aware of that, thank you, I will get to it, just lay the F off so I can talk. Okay, okay, is that good? You nosy little bastard. Um, all right, so anyway, because <laughs> he was on my nose. Um, but uh, it was Jack, it was Jack. He, I saw him play this game called Inside. They respawn when you go away. Um, and, oh my gosh, the, now that was an interesting game. I almost wish I had not watched the video so I could like play it for myself, but man, no. Okay, chill the f out. I'm gonna. Okay, listen, you little bastard. <laughs> All right, I know what you want me to do, right? So here we go. Wrong button. Oops, wrong button. Wrong button. Yeah. Okay. I didn't even. Boy, you are pissing me off. Alright. <laughs> How's that? Ta da! Yep. Yeah, I'm just that good. I was born with it, baby. Or maybe it's Maybelline. There's another constellation. Oh, good. Are we getting a new power? Oh, this one looks like a. Pikachu? What? What is that? Alright. <laughs> Alright, get the dark. This time I know it. I can't see it. It's too damn dark. Bloop. Nope. Bloop. Oops, extra star. Woo! Oh! It looks like a pi- Holy shit! Pikachu's packing heat! Tachigami. And Mother Amaterasu. All right. Was in this shrine dedicated to ancient heroes. If there's anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Yeah, um, Hamtaro, you can hand over that nice blade of yours, and I can use it to fight Sephiroth. All right. By the power of that symbol. I now have a blade. That was the god Tachigami. Like what, those little pocket pits? <laughs> the power slash technique. All right, wait a minute. If you're getting all these powers, then you're just like Shiranui. You know, the wolf who fought and died alongside the great Nagi? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know the wolf's power was split into three brush guys. 13 brush guys, 13. Uh, this is crazy. Shinui Nagi. It's just like the legend. Well, anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off on that boulder over there? Oh, okay, so I can break these. Let me see you slice it in half by drawing a single vine. 
I won't believe it till I sees it. Oh my gosh. Alright. So watch this. Um boop. Nice. Whoa! I don't think you had it in you, fur ball. Guess I really overestimated myself. Yep. Jealous. Yeah, what's that? If you're shooting near reborn, then that means you're master off the 13 next, right? I mean, it's part of the game mechanic, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get to them. I think I'll take along and still see I'm as good as you. Lucky you! Yeah, I'm. <laughs> I know, it's like crap. So you're trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I made a decision. But enough about me. Now that you mastered the power slash, you can cut down that thing Saki was talking about. Let's go back and give it a shot. All right, so let's do that. Uh, what? I have to examine what? What a magnificent statue! The legendary Hironagi was always meant to draw him. Oh, okay, I'm trying. Can I move the camera? Cause looking this way kind of sucks. Okay. Oh, do I have to cut these in half? Let's see. Boosh! Oh shit! What up? Okay. Did I cut those down? Okay, I'm not that dumb to not know where I need to go. Oh, so I get like the power of the. Oh, holy. What the? Where did they come from? Whatever. Draw first, that's what I'm right? You know that divine instrument you have on your back? Well, press the square button to use this power against them. Alright, let's rock. Wow, ow, bitch. Oh, what? Oh, once you cut off guard and turn them black and white, they're easy prey for you to brush no matter how nasty they are. Grab your brush and give them a power slash. Hold on. Alright. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, hey. Yeah. Uh, hold up. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. Oh, crap. I just chopped a tree. Alright, I obtained Spirit Globe. Is humanity's faith made solid? So, solid faith? Black ink bottle. Bottle full of ink. Fills one of amateur. Oh, okay, so it's got expendables. Oh, I get. Huh? Wait, what? What just happened? Hold on, I want to chop this rock up. Wow! Chunk! Oh, how huh, nice. Alright. Okay, cool. I'm gonna chop rocks now, baby. Chopping rocks. Oops, hold up. Chunk. Oh, grapes. Okay. Juicy fruit. Yum, yum, yum. Alright. Well, oh, hello. Yeah, they do come back. Oh, huh. well, that's nice. I'm not sure if I should, how much time I should dedicate to finding all these goodies. But anyways, I was trying to say, um, with that uh, game that Jack was playing inside, oh man, that is some compelling gameplay right there. Both visually and, like, the story behind it. Because it, and I think what's so great about that game was, is that it didn't give you the answers. Kind of like how Limbo really did it. It kind of left you thinking and wondering, like, what the heck. I don't want to chop these trees down, but apparently I can. Um, and the reason I was saying is like I wish I had like not played it because oh man, just to have like uh, gotten the first hand impression uh, of like well that and the satisfaction of solving the puzzles by myself. Oh, that would have been great. And if I was a teacher, I would have I would actually make my students uh, watch that or play it and then write an essay. <laughs> on what they think it means. And, you know, just kind of like, let them express themselves. And it'd be a very engaging, I think, uh, kind of, uh, uh what it, I can't even think of the word, uh, <laughs> not, well, this is an engaging lesson, but, uh, assignment, jeez. I'm losing my words today. <laughs> yes, give me that cabbage. Thick and fibrous. And make me some coleslaw. 
Whoa, take that, fool. All right, wash ha. Let me get the hang of this. All right, any more? Oh, oh cool, so it makes a little... Uh, okay, cool, nice. All right, moving on. So yeah, I mean, awesome game, amazing. I'm not gonna give away anything about that game if you haven't seen it yet. I highly recommend you either play it yourself or if you can't afford it and don't have the time, and it's not a very long game, really, uh, to actually, like, go out there and watch uh, a Let's Play of it, because... And, of course, I'd recommend Jax, but you can watch any ones if you want. Uh, it's just uh, visually stimulating, it's mysterious, it's haunting, it's... Uh, it's it just stole my... it took my breath away. That's like, that's my game... Uh, of the year for me. It's like, if I ever had to pick one, that would be my... What the hell? Did I forget to paint a spot in the middle of the river? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I totally love it. I, I, and if you haven't seen Limbo, I recommend you play that one first, or watch someone play that too. And then... Yeah, it, it's... Both are such amazing and unique experiences that you gotta try for yourself. Jump down. There we go. Alright, boobity 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 boop. Hold up. Gotta slice that rock. Oh wow. That really takes a lot of ink. Okay, so I got 16 of those apparently. Do do do. Give me that rock. Breaking pots. Yep, I'm definitely getting a lot of um, Wind Waker vibes out of this one. Anything way over here? No. Alright. Oh, God. Sorry about the camera, but it's kind of hard to control where I'm looking sometimes. Anything else around here before I go back to the glowy gates of this what Stonehenge looking thing? Cairn, I guess you could call it. All right. All right. Let's do this. So, whoop. I missed. All right. Let me try again. So I gotta go across the peach. Chunk. All right. It's... Whoa. Wow. Coloring book come to life. And everything was beautiful once again. Ooh. Ah. Sparkle. Alright, well, the village has been restored. Sakio came through big time. She really was protecting the village. But I sure wish I could have spent some time more. Perf. If you know what. Oh, God. <laughs> but seriously, with all monsters running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go see how they're all doing down there. Okay. I guess I can go back in there for whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna get to the village, see what it entails, and I think I'm gonna cut it there, because that's that this feels like a good stopping point. Oh what? He's gray. Oh boy. Let me see, I probably have to unlock it and see what this is about. What in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Well, whatever, let's go talk to the villagers. Uh somehow I feel he missed the point of that little guy. I like how I sprout little plants. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'm nature incarnate. Round and round I go, right? Ah, uh, get me out of that. What's up there? Uh, not much. All right, keep going. Do, 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 do. Well, this is cool. I've got a bad feeling about this. Sure thing, hon. Everything's quiet. A little too quiet. Mickey Village is supposed to be famous for its scenic beauty. I wonder what's going on down there. Uh, what, 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 do I jump down? Where, where, where do I go? Where, where do I go? 
Okay, so I came up here. Uh, I guess I can jump down. I'm gonna jump down. Wee! Oh, no, it won't let me. Alright. Hold on! Gotta get back down. Down we go. Oh, wow. Well, everyone... Well, that's a weird looking face. Oh, what? Wait, you were different. What? What just happened? Do I have things? Not again! That's not one of the smaller monsters we've been looking about. A roar like that's gotta be long such a weird. That's hard to find something with the balls around here. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna hold off on solving this mystery for now because something tells me it's gonna be a little bit more involved than what I aim to do. So, I'm in the village. I'm gonna leave it raw her. And we can continue this on the next episode. I'm enjoying this so far. Visually, it's very interesting. The story is quite engaging, if a bit long winded in certain parts, but uh, that's kind of the pacing of uh, Japanese games sometimes. But hey, if it's got a good story, I'm willing to sit through it no matter what. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping this develops well. Uh, I've been, as I stated before, I've been told it's a long game, so I don't know how many episodes it's going to be. Um, I'm not going to try to like find every secret, or at least try to resist the urge to do so. But for now, uh, it's been great. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you for watching this time. And, well, that is all for now. So I thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>